So far you have uh, two points in the tournament, in three rounds. You won the first uh, round, then you played uh, two games against uh, two grandmasters, very strong. Uh, did you have a chance to win today or uh, yeah. yesterday? Well, yesterday I was better. I saw that I was better than I was, but I think I had good chances. Uh, at some point, probably you saw the game, I was about to play King G2, but I played Rookie 1 and after Knight F6, he got some counterplay, so finally, <coughs> well, after some adventures with you. And today, I think I was winning, but I had the same problem at the end. <coughs> Before the time control, I made some mistakes. In the first round, that game seemed to be complicated. In which moment were you sure you would win the game? Um, well, he, he was playing, he was playing, I don't know, I, after the opening he was playing some weird move and I think uh, I, I had a, be a better position but then I made some mistake and it wasn't clear and then we went into some end game and I, I wasn't better but I just was trying to survive. Uh, How was um, that end game against Anton? You were defending uh, quite a lot, uh, being a pawn down. What were your thoughts? Were you sure you would defend it? Yeah, I was sure I could defend it. I, I was going to lose a pawn anyway, and I thought that was the better end game, or the less worse end game. What about your um, game in round two? Uh, you won that game, it looked like quite uh, easily. Uh, was it really easy or there were some uh, unclear moments? It wasn't that easy. It was complicated at the beginning and then I got a slight advantage and he just blundered a piece in, in time pressure. Anton, after four rounds you have uh, four draws, but your last uh, three games uh, you played very long, you looked like you had better positions. Uh, still you didn't win any of, uh, of three. Uh, do you think you had a chance? Well, I think I was better in, in the last two games, but the previous one against Holden uh, I was worse in the whole game and then I, I got a bit lucky. So, okay, I saved that position, then I almost won it. And the last two games, yeah, I think I was I was quite close to it. But, okay, it doesn't always happen. The game against uh, Holden, when you saved already worse position, do you think uh, close to the end uh, you had a chance to win that game? It looked like, but uh, I didn't find the, the way to win. Actually, a move that I made that I thought it, it was very strong, uh, it ended up like a complete draw to it. So maybe, maybe uh, there was no way to win it. Well, my, the, my opponents uh, defended quite well, but I think I played horrible too. So that, that's also a good reason because I missed many of the of their moves that they did, and uh, they, they drew quite easily those uh, two games. Thank you. Can you tell us uh, a few words about your game? Yes, of course. Uh, so, at the beginning of the game, my opponent made, uh, I guess, huge mistake. He played 97, but I'm not sure. I, I think it was a mistake. Because uh, typically, um, instead of 97, black plays first queen b7, from, from what I remember. And then only after this, uh, plays 97. So. And uh, he got slightly worse position, so um, then he made another horrible move, e5. After this, my advantage was already clear. So, no, and then he just started playing normal chess, but it was already too late <laughs> uh, to create some problems. So, yeah. So today you, you won a game against uh, Alfonso Almeida. How was your game? The game today... Uh, um, I don't know, because I, I, in the opening, after a few moves, he gave me a pawn and I just took the pawn and it wasn't that hard. At some point, it seems that Black could... He had something, but he always ha had a, a pawn less, so it wasn't that hard to, to win the game. Okay. 
Holden, you just won your last uh, round. Uh, it's a very good day for you. You won uh, two games. Uh, uh, so, how was your second game? Um, I, I think it was uh, more or less correct. In the opening, I played a setup that is probably good for black, uh, but I found some ideas, and I don't know. Suddenly, my position was better, and then, as, I, as my opener said, I had some night at five, and it seems that I was winning there. I think the game was more or less correct anyway. I have to check it because I mean every mm -hmm. time I check it, I made many mistakes because I am not playing pretty well this tournament. But I think it was good. It was one of the strongest uh, tournaments in the uh, United States uh, recently. It was even the strongest tournaments, round robin tournament since uh, August uh, 2014. It was the second strongest tournament, uh, round robin tournament in South Texas uh, ever. Uh, I'm very glad uh, we could host it on uh, UTB uh, campus. I'm glad we had uh, very strong players coming to us, uh, playing this tournament. Mm, and I'm even more satisfied that one of uh, our students, uh, Holden Hernandez, won uh, the whole event. The UTB chess team is uh, very strong. Uh, we have players from uh, many countries, we have uh, grandmasters, international masters. Grandmaster is the highest title attainable in chess. One of our uh, students, Anton Kovalyov, is uh, number one uh, in uh, Canada, the highest rated player. Uh, Christian Cruz, uh, whom we are recruiting right now, is uh, number four is his, in his country, in uh, Peru. Um, in the past we had uh, one player who was um, uh, the strongest female player in uh, Colombia and we have many other uh, very strong players, grandmasters. We are hoping even for a stronger team with a successful recruitment. Uh, right now we are current uh, champions of uh, Texas, which I am very proud of because the previous time we won the championship was in 2006, so it means we are back to the right uh, track. and. Um, and, and right, uh, right now I think uh, our next real uh, goal will be the Pan American Championship, we want to qualify to Final Four and then uh, do best uh, there. Um, I'm, as, as the chess coach I'm uh, um, really um, uh, happy and uh, obliged to uh, many people, many important people at the UTB campus that really support uh, chess. Uh, this uh, tournament was uh, supported by our interim provost, uh, Dr. Uh, Javier Martinez, but I feel a lot of support also from uh, the Vice President of Student Affairs, uh, Dr. Uh, Silva, and the Dean of Students, um, uh, Dr. Stoves. It is uh, much easier to build a strong team and uh, um, have really uh, big achievements if you feel that kind of uh, support, uh, if you can address all kind of uh, problems, small or big, uh, which always uh, appear, and that you know that there is somebody who can help you to, to solve them. I was surprised because uh, my opponent usually plays uh, the Nitro defense, but uh, he plays uh, Accelerate Dragon, so that was a surprise for me, uh, so I decided to play uh, C4 and kind of Malozzi. It was surprising because I play instead C4, nice knife C3, but uh, in the middle game I made a mistake. And so I played this because I thought it was a killer. Then I play this, check. Game against uh, Felix, um, how did it develop? I don't know, it was kind of weird. I, I guess uh, I had, a, a, I don't know, probably a very small advantage in the opening. But then uh, then when I set up the pieces what I wanted, uh, then I kind of uh, lost initiative for a while. And then he gave me uh, some counterplay on the B5. I, I mean, I, I tripled Rook's Queen and I was uh, preparing a to sacrifice a knight on B6, <laughs> and I couldn't do it. So, 
then I, I, I had to uh, come with my second knife to sacrifice that one. And then finally that cracked the position, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then he still uh, presented a very tough uh, defense. You won now a very interesting uh, game. Can you tell us a few words about it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a really interesting game from the start. It was very complicated, and both of us were using up a lot of time. And then uh, at some point, I thought he was winning, and then I was winning again, and so it was really up and down. Mm. And then at the end, he missed one move, and then I was able to convert my attack into a win. What was his decisive mistake? Uh, I think queen a5 was definitely a mistake, because after that, I played rook e5 and won a piece. And that basically ended the game. First uh, two rounds you also uh, won your games, um, even against uh, Andrei Stukop in a Grandmaster. Uh, can you tell us about uh, those uh, games? Uh, yeah, so I think in the first game it was pretty clear he just, um, I just won a piece like in the opening and then there was not much after that. Uh, in the second game, I think it was uh, kind of complex battle for some time, but then uh, he kind of sacked a piece and it didn't really work. And then I was able to continue with the attack and I won that game. Are you planning on coming back to Brownsville for next uh, tournaments? Oh, definitely, yeah, of course. Um, did you like uh, UTB, UTB campus? Yeah, actually it's one of the nicest college campuses I've ever seen. So. Well, um, I, I do know that was the strongest tournament that's been in South Texas since 1972. And I mean, I can't help but be incredibly proud that it's hosted here at our campus um, uh, with, uh, with our team taking such a, a pivotal role in making sure that, that uh, a tournament of this quality and of this strength can, that can come to our campus. Um, the fact that students are willing to take that amount of time out of their, out of their spring break to play uh, in this tournament shows you how seriously they take the game and how seriously they uh, they uh, apply themselves to the support of uh, the university. And so I'm very proud of the of the efforts that were made here. I, I'm, I'm always uh, very proud of our team. They always uh, manage to finish in the top of any tournament and the fact that this tournament, that's such a strong tournament, that one of uh, the members of our team uh, uh, won the entire tournament is uh, it's just thrilling to me and and again just it just shows the the amount of effort that our students put forward uh, uh, as they play this game.